All right, we got a second box in, or second, yeah, second box with two boxes inside of it. Uh, it's kind of complements those cut it. Or the, actually, you don't know what we got. I forgot to show that. So uh, well, let's open these boxes up first. So we've got one open already here. We have some nice polished stainless steel, three inch offset center. They're reversible, so you can put them on either way. Um, High, highly polished, pretty nice. I mean, especially for the, the price. They are a straight through design. They just have kind of a zigzag in there. Um, as you can see, they are, they have like a stainless steel packing in there. They're kind of like a turbo muffler, but nice finish. They're stainless steel. Um, and for the price, you can't beat them. Now, for the box that we teased about before. We'll pull them out <clears throat> and here it is. So they are exhaust cutouts. They're pretty awesome for the price. Um, again, decently priced. The welds look pretty decent. I won't say they're, uh, you know, top notch, but they seem like they'll do the job. They're TIG welded. Um, they definitely didn't use a whole lot of filler material, but they seem to be sealing up good. Uh, I did plug these in. I think I have a clip of that, of plugging these in and actually working, and it, it works really cool. It's a very simple setup. Uh, it's got a plug off each motor. You plug that into a Y. Um, they do have extensions, obviously, so you can run them inside the car, but it's just that extension. So uh, we can shorten it up a little bit, just plug these right in. Uh, the Y plugs into the power pack. Power pack plugs into your cigarette lighter or your power port, whatever you want to call it. You do have a key fob here. And as you can see, we are closed now. You hit it once. They open slightly. Slightly more. And then all the way. Uh, if you hold it down, it's same with, same with closed. They'll close in stages. If you hold it down, all at one shot. Um, hopefully they last for a while. I don't know. Except for the price, they look decent. So uh, we're gonna mock up a system here. The new Turbo GMC build. We're getting ready, we're trying to find a good day to actually pull that truck apart and do the cam, the heads, like all that stuff I talked about before. Uh, we're just trying to find a good time frame to do it in so <clears throat> it's going to happen really really soon um, but i think what we're going to do is go ahead and do the exhaust first so we'll put a cut the stock muffler out put a pair of these in and before the mufflers put a pair of these in so we can have it open straight pipe or we can have it running through the mufflers it'll sound better than stock for sure with these and it'll sound really good especially with the cam it with these so let's get that uh, mocked up and uh, we'll get that truck in and uh, get it taken care of. So this actually works really good. Uh, the cutouts slip, slip right into the muffler and they're roughly the same size as the muffler. Um, we're probably not going to mount them like that, but if you had space limited, uh, it, it's like I said, being offset on one side, it's about even with the muffler, just slightly out but uh, very, very little. Um, actually, it might not even be. Yeah. So we'll make something work with that. We got a pair of the mufflers. We got a pair of the cutouts. Um, the the 2500 HDs are a, a dual in, dual out, and then there's a Y pipe behind that, and it goes a single uh, tail, three and a half inch tailpipe. So we'll definitely be good with this setup. We might have to shorten it some. We might have to trim some off the ends here, maybe even here, and uh, figure out how we're going to do that. Um, but it will work. A lot of moving here today, guys. We got a big hole. Now we got to fill it back up, just move stuff around. This is a big garage. You just got too much junk in it. All right guys, we got the turbo, new turbo GMC built here. 
we'll do a couple quick revs and then we'll do a stall test with the new converter so i'll set you back here and uh let's do a, a sound clip of the stock exhaust Right, guys uh, so that's what it sounds now we're in gear here let's uh, see what this converter stalls to it is a 3400 stall but um, it's not gonna stall that much without boost so we're in gear uh, we do have 150 miles at least on the break-in of the converter so so we're right at 2900 and that's what the motor i mean it's still sitting there it's not spinning so that's what the motor will do at this point with this converter now let's get it inside and make it sound better there she goes never again to be quiet all right guys so here's the stock muffler as you can see it is huge and it is two pipes out goes into a Y pipe and a single three and a half inch tailpipe. If we go on the front, it's dual in. So that's how we're gonna use our dual mufflers. So we're gonna stack them sideways. We're gonna put the um, valves in front of the muffler, of course. So when we open them up, it gets loud. Um, and this, as you can see from the side, the distance from the front to the back is a little off. So there are mufflers are center offset or offset center depending on which way we gotta use them. So that should work out nicely. First step is get rid of this giant suitcase of a muffler. So we're gonna make a cut as close to it as we can there and there and the same in the back. All right, we got the big suitcase of a muffler out. Now we'll start mocking up our, our uh, cutouts and our mufflers and see what works the best there. Uh, we may have to trim a little bit more front and back and maybe off the muffler too, but let's get, get uh, one thrown up here and just see what we got. This this is the problem we're running into is this is really the configuration we need to go up in the truck And as you can see uh, The cutout goes right into the muffler, which is probably gonna sound weird It's gonna bounce right off that muffler even though it's open at that point It's gonna bounce off and I really need to make this whole assembly as short as possible, which means sliding this in This one's a little tight so as I slide that in to make this whole assembly shorter, it gets even worse. So with having in mind what we're gonna do with this truck is it's gonna have the front mount turbo system on it and there's a huge possible chance we're gonna remove the cats anyway. So we're getting ready to do, to do all that work and have it tuned. So we'll just tune the rear cats out. So I think for now, we're gonna put the cutouts, one right here where this cat is and one right here where this cat is. That eliminates our issue back here. We can just put our mufflers and put connection pipes, make that sweep back there, nice level, uh, just the way it needs to be, plenty of room, and still have our cutouts up here. It will mean one cutout will be further back by uh, two feet, foot and a half, but I don't think it's gonna matter. It's not gonna ma make much of a difference, so. I think that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna make a cut here, make a cut here while well, one of our cut or cutouts here. The other one's gonna go right here where that cat is. Done deal. All right guys, we got the muffler welded on. So our plan now is to go ahead and drop it down. We'll fire it up and see how quiet or loud it is with just the mufflers. And then we'll do the modification at the cats with the, the cutouts and uh, we'll be able to tell how much louder taking the cats off is. All right, guys, first fire up with the new mufflers on. Still have the cats, don't have the cutouts yet, but we do have the new muffler, so let's see how she sounds. Oh yeah, it's got a nice rumble to it. That actually sounds good. I like that. Oh yeah, that sounds really good. 
definite, definite, definite improvement over the stock, but definitely not obnoxious, so. Now let's tackle the cap. All right, so we went for it there. We got this all tacked up. We had a small filler piece here. Um, it's tacked up. We just got to get welded up. Uh, so the outlet will be right there, nice and free flowing. Um, I think we're gonna get this side welded up, fire it up, and give it a shot, and just see how it sounds for now. All right, guys, we got one of the turned out or cutouts welded in. Everything's functional. We only have one though, so we have one cat active, one cat not. So it does have a funny tone out of the exhaust right now because it's unbalanced but we got our key fob here we'll go ahead and hit it oh yeah and you can even you can adjust your sound shuts right off and this really does seem to seal up nicely very surprised for the price of these how well that works so far um, how long they're gonna work we'll have to see all right got everything done um, everything's welded up here's this cutout here's this cutout they're both free-flowing you know open to the air nothing blocking them uh, this one will come right up through here. This one kind of shoots down, but they did take place, like I said, of the original cat. So uh, once we get as far as we're going to go with the turbo system, we don't have to worry about the cats. They're not there now. So no more meltdown with those. Um, we're running our wires now. We got to drop it down, get these hooked up, and then we'll do it. All right, we got wires run uh, up the frame rail on the wiring harness through that access panel we had uh, when we ran the two-step wire. Um, now we're all hooked up. So let's go ahead and fire this thing up. We'll get a start. This is gonna be with the total flow mufflers and no cats because we had the valves. Definite tone, sounds good. Sounds real good. All right, we'll get it. pipes but here's where it gets interesting so, way louder and then of course back to quiet quieter Wild, mild, sweet. Get a couple more revs out of it. You still get a little bit through the tailpipe even with them open, I guess just the way it's designed, but uh, definitely gets much louder. I'm sure it rumbles pretty hard inside. we go all right he's off valves shut see how he sounds going up the road now again right now it's stock it's gonna sound much better once it gets uh, a cam in it although it don't sound bad now I know you can't see much but Definitely crackles. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a good day.